Shoemaker in early trouble, and here's Brian Reynolds. And the other way toward left, dropping, and that's fair, and the Pirates take the early lead. As Reynolds pulls into second with a double, it's one nothing. Brownie, you gotta see Mitch Garver's reaction on this swing. His head goes down almost immediately as soon as Reynolds makes contact because he sees it's right in that Bermuda triangle, right outside of the third baseman's opportunity to catch it, outside of the left fielder. He dropped his head down, was so disappointed. That's that area that's just unguardable. You see Evans at third, Reynolds at second, no one out. Three and two the count on Colin Moran. And this is lifted to center, and the runner at third, Evans, will tag. Buxton will concede that run and hold the runner at second. So sacrifice fly for Moran, 2 nothing Pirates. Yeah, and that had to feel good for the Redbeard to, you know, put a ball in play with a little bit of a charge into it, deep enough to score that run from third. Pro's first start with the Pirates, again acquired over the winter. And a great stop by Gonzalez and a throw to first to get Donaldson one heck of a play by Egon. Wow, what a great play. I mean, we've, we've talked about it time and time again, Ronnie. His defense is just, you know, it's a plus at so many different positions. This play right here, Donaldson hits that slider out in front. Egon's just wow. full length. What a play. I mean, that ball almost turned him completely backwards, pointing towards the outfield. Great play by Gonzo. Gets up in a hurry. He knows his runner, understanding who was actually at the plate, so you don't rush through that and make a bad throw. Strike one. Bronco. Yeah, that's hit hard past the second baseman. Arise out in shallow right. Second straight hit for Polanco. Yeah, he, he snap hooked that ball right in the hole, right through the shift. Hits it foul and then keeps it fair that second time through. I mean, it just shows how hard he hits it. We saw that last year a lot. Stashak sets. Stallings waits, the pitch. Swinging a fly ball out to left. Kirloff turning around, and it's off the wall. Played by Buxton, the center fielder backing him up. It's a double for Jacob Stallings. And the Pirates have second and third with nobody out. I thought for sure that one was going to be a home run. I was watching the outfielders, and they just kind of, uh, right there at the end, they shut it down and thought that one was in the bullpen. One of the Pirates pitchers ran over to maybe try and catch the ball. Maybe a third of the way up on the fence. Along with third, Stallings at second, nobody out for Newman. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Swinging a line drive on the middle through, base hit. And Polanco will score. Stallings held it third. RBI single, Kevin Newman. And the Pirates lead 3 to 1. Now there's still nobody out, so we can't be done right now. Get greedy. And with that infield in, that enables Newman to garner a hit on that. Frazier against the lefty has two hits today. And grounded and into right field. Frazier brings home Stallings and into third goes Newman. The Pirates have added on. They lead 4-1. Three hit day for Frazier. Another great day for Frazier. I mean, really tough pitches early on. Gets down the count early and then once again, not trying to do too much. That simple swing, simple approach. It's a one out and here's Polanco. Two for three today, two singles and a run. To right field and Gregory Polanco that does clear the deck with a cannonball. You want a hot cup of coffee on a cold day. His third home run and the Pirates take a 6-1 lead. And that smile never, ever gets old. Yes, indeed. Twins down five, bottom eight. Nelson Cruz 0 for 3 today, 1 for 10 in this weekend series. Leads off. A high blast to left field and Nelson Cruz tees off. Home run number seven, tying him for the league lead. Well, he hasn't been exactly sharp either, but he goes up there with the right kind of approach every time up, and if you throw him a breaking ball strike, you're vulnerable. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, and now Astudio, the last chance for the Twins, with the Pirates leading 6-2. to two. two innings for Stratton. He would love to strike out the side in order. Little dribbler. This should do it, and we can, well, yes, raise the Jolly Roger. A little scoop from Colin Moran. They win 6-2. to two. They're going to come home. And the Buccos have a sensational road trip. 